The White House now considering stricter testing requirements and possible self-quarantines for all travelers arriving in the United States. That's new today from the CDC director. Dr. Rochelle Walensky says the CDC already expanded surveillance at four major airports, JFK, Newark, San Francisco, and Atlanta. Officials there searching for what could be America's first case of COVID Omicron. This program allows for increased COVID testing for specific international arrivals, increasing our capacity to identify those with COVID-19 on arrival to the United States, and enhancing our surveillance for the Omicron variant. New data shows the COVID Omicron variant was already in Europe days before scientists in South Africa were first to identify it. Health officials in the Netherlands say they identified cases dating back a week and a half. Brazil and Japan, the latest nations to confirm Omicron cases. NBC News reports researchers have detected the new variant in at least 21 countries, but not yet in the United States. Dr. Ashish Jha now, dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. Doctor, thank you. It looks like these South African doctors are the heroes. Shep, thanks for having me back. They are. They found this. Uh, this they've got phenomenal surveillance. And not only do they have great surveillance, they're very open and transparent about it. And as soon as they figured this out, they shared it with the world. They really are heroes here. You know, it, I'm told it'll be a week or two before we know very much more about this. What level of efficacy drop, what level of efficacy drop would concern you and the scientists and the scientific community enough to require a sort of reformulation of the vaccines? Yeah, it's a really good question. I'm hoping that with uh, people who are fully vaccinated and boosted right now, efficacy against Delta is probably 90, 95%. If that drops 10 or 15 points, probably not a big deal, down to 80 or even 75. If it starts dropping much more than that, Shep, uh, we're going to have trouble in terms of keeping, you know, infection numbers low across the community uh, using vaccinations. So we're going to have to start thinking about reformulating the vaccine formula. Uh, probably we'll have to do that almost under any circumstances, but let's see what the data shows. Dr. Jha, thank you.